Hey guys, so I am making my homemade chocolate chip cookies again. Y'all know I love my homemade chocolate chip cookies. But anyway, we've been invited over to my sister-in-law's today for the 4th. It is Sunday. Uh, I didn't film the day at church either because I ushered today. So it ain't too cute, you know, filming on the usher bench. You're supposed to be working. <laughs> so not today. Anyway, my chocolate chip cookies... I made them like this this time. This is the first time I'm putting them into a roll. I'm going to put this into the freezer and then for about 30 minutes because all these are getting baked today. All of them. I'll leave a couple at home so I can have at home. But yeah, most of them are, are being taken over to my sister laws I also made a pound cake. So I have to make the caramel glaze for that. And next time I make these cookies, y'all, I'm going to do a batch and then I'm going to make an extra batch to keep these in the freezer like, you know, Toll House and stuff like that. How you can put it, have them in the freezer. You buy them at the store, have them in the freezer. You can make two or three or have them you want at one time. So that's what I want to do. And I just want two cookies or three cookies. I want to be able to do that for my homemade cookies. So I'm going to try that next time. Anyway, let me get to going so I can be ready to leave on time oh okay. put these in the oven and i gotta get ready to go so i have gotten the chocolate chip cookie roll out of the freezer and have my pans ready for them to go in it is really firm it's firmer than i thought i put it in there for like 22 minutes 25 minutes and so that's good and long enough i'm gonna let it sit for about five to seven minutes and let it soften just a little bit and then i'm gonna put these on the the uh cookie sheets and put them in the oven. Ooh, I don't know if y'all can see in there. Can y'all see the cookies? Mm -mm. They all big and puffy. I hope they don't flatten out too much. Because they were frozen, they, sh they should stay a little puffy. But anyway, that's what they're looking like. At 12 minutes, I think. So I put two more minutes on there because I had the buzzer. A little bell to go off so hopefully they'll be done in like two more minutes Ooh, okay perfect 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 because they're brown around the edges and it's time to take them out Mm -hmm. They came out really good. They're big. I cut them big, so they came out really big. And yeah, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> right out of the oven, too. Yeah, real good. Corn on the cob. There's cornbread too, but they have eggs in it. I can't eat the cornbread. But if I chime down, if I chime down. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. It's July 5th. And me and Jalen are here. Isaiah had to work. Chris is gone with his brother to pick up something. And me and Jalen are having pancakes and bacon and sausage this morning. So I'm gonna get started making breakfast. The bacon's in the air fryer. Bacon and the sausage. So all I use in my pancake mix is the Jiffy baking mix, since I don't do eggs. I just have the mix, the water, 
and the flavorings which I put vanilla and almond extract in my imitation almond and just a little bit of salt and that's how I make mine and it is so good moist and good So I like to sprinkle cinnamon on mine. It tastes so good. I just put it on right before I put the syrup on. So it is Monday evening, and me and Jayla are making pizzas for dinner. Um, Chris and Isaiah are gone, so I'll make theirs before they come home. But we're making pizza. Hers is in the oven, and I'm doing mine in the air fryer. I'm trying out the air fryer with the little homemade pizzas. So we're going to see how that goes. Try not to spill cheese in the oven. So I'm going to set it to bake. And then I'm gonna put my presets on pizza. And it says four minutes at 425. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. So it came out pretty good. I hope it tastes good. The crust seems to be done. Seems like it's done. But it looks pretty good, pretty good. Hopefully it tastes good. So we have Chipotle today for dinner. Jalen treated me to Chipotle. <laughs> she gets hers and a tortilla in the bowl. And then, what you have, chicken? She has chicken with her toppings. And then I have chicken with, um, what is this, carnitas. And... Ooh, 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 ooh. So I have chicken mixed with carnitas, um, the tomato salsa, um, corn, lettuce, cheese, sour cream, and then I have some peppers in here and some extra salsa to go with my chips. And some crayon pineapple juice. Yum, yum, yum. Hey guys, I am going to run some errands today. I was going to take y'all along with me and vlog and kind of chit chat with y'all in the car and kind of catch up, but I'm in Sebastian today. I mean, this is Jalen's car, and some of y'all know she names her cars. So this is Sebastian. <laughs> so I cannot find a vlogging mount. She has one, but it's for a camera. Um, and I'm vlogging with my phone, so mine won't go up there. So, and she used to have a little piece for vlogging, but anyway, it's not here today. So I can't ride and, and chat with y'all today because um, I need to be hands-free when I do that. And um, so, yeah, if I can, I'll take y'all along maybe in some stores and stuff like that uh, that I go to. I have to take a deposit over to get my mom's car fixed. So I have to take the deposit today so the parts can start being ordered. And, uh, yeah, so if I can, I'll take y'all along with me and I'll see y'all in the store, maybe. All right. Hey guys. So I am back home. I did not vlog while I was out. It was just, I had too many places to stop and I was on the move trying to hurry up and get done. Did not get done, but I did get a lot of stuff. So I was going to anyway, stop by Walmart. I guess I'll do Walmart first. And I got this old cedar mop this is called a uh, hardwood floor and more flip it's a damp and dry mop and this was what was recommended for our floor our flooring for the kitchen so I got that and let's see I got this lavender towel that'll match in our bathroom I'm trying to put it up somewhere else but I'm gonna have to put it back in this bag got a hook for the kids the back of their door and their bathroom so they can hold, hang their robes and pajamas or whatever in there if they take their shower 
And I'm sorry if I'm discombobulated. I gotta hurry up and get this stuff in the refrigerator. And I'm just tired of being out. I'm just ready to go upstairs, get out of everything, and just, I know I still gotta cook. I still gotta cook, so anyway. <laughs> Better Homes and Gardens, I got this. This is glass. So this is gonna be the spray for my granite countertops. Uh, I've been using like a mild soap and I it was suggested to me by the counter people that I use Dawn and water. So I've been looking that up on YouTube, more information about the granite and other granite people suggested that plus a lot of people plus other granite people suggested alcohol, 91% alcohol mixed with the mild soap and water. So that's what I'll be using. And they said that adds a good shine and then it dries up fast and it's good for granite. So I'll be using that. And then so I've got the 91% alcohol. And when I was out with my sister last week, when we were going to probate, the probate stuff downtown and everything, she had this Jergis lotion scented. I had never seen this before. Let me know if you all have seen this before or not. It's Jergens Body Butter Collection. I know I'm loving eucalyptus mint now, and this is eucalyptus mint. This smells so good. It smells so good. So, hope it smells good on me. I'll be mixing it with my lotion and Vaseline for nighttime. So, loving, loving eucalyptus and mint smell. Probably overdoing it a little bit, but <laughs> I like it a lot. And then, I also went to Rose's. And I got some of these, I don't know if they're not specifically for workout, uh, but they're the Pebble Splitter Text Pants. I don't know what those are, but to me, they're like workout pants. And they got the little line down here with the gathers. And I've been seeing these on other people's hauls. I think they got theirs from like Rainbow or something, but I found these at Roses. These were... $9.99 and I'll be using them as workout pants. And then this hat. I love these kind of, uh, these bucket hats. They come in handy a lot. Like when we're out walking around or we go up to the track. I needed this on vacation when we were in um, Lake Tahoe. We went on that hike, but I had to end up buying a hat. But this is perfect for shade because I can't, I don't like being out in the sun. I also bought a black, oh, the hat was, the hat was $7.99. I also got this black dress, a short sleeve, and it comes down a little bit below my knees, but I got this because, you know, I know you don't have to wear black to a funeral, but mostly people wear black or dark colors to funerals, and we've been to two already. Um, here lately and you know sometimes you just can't find something or you want to find something just real quick for a funeral or something like that and this is short sleeve just like almost like a t-shirt dress but it's a nice material and it's long and this is really what I would love to just slip on you don't need to iron it or anything it's one of the materials you don't need to iron it was $12.99 and it comes with a mask what yes it comes with a mask so, got everything all together there. And I got my little blouse again. I had worn this on the 4th of July. Um, and hubby was washing and mistakenly put this in the dryer. I didn't wash it quite right. So I went and replaced it because it shrunk and then it got discolored. So uh, they're set. It's just $7.99. And I really like the top. So I just went and got me another one from Roses. On to Kroger's. Um, you know how you're just supposed to be getting milk and a couple of things, but I just went ahead and went grocery shopping. I got two milks, and before I forget about this, got this Kroger, um, these paper towels, the rugged and reliable paper towel pack. And, uh, there are 10. In there for $9.99. Panera Fuji Apple, buy one, get one free. Yes. Love to stock up on those when they're on sale. Got the Santa Fe tortilla strips. Got bacon bits. Uh, sweet potato. 
I just got one because we already have one. I don't like to buy a lot of the time because we don't eat them up. So it would be a waste. So that's why I just got one because we have one. And it'll just be for me and my husband because the kids don't eat them. And got some bacon, turkey smoked sausage. And I really went to Kroger's for the cod. They had cod, $5.99 on sale. The fresh cod and the, um, you know, behind the glass cake, the, mm, behind the glass case. But they were, I won't say they were out. They had three little pieces left and they looked pretty shabby. So I just went on over to the uh, freezer section and got some wild caught Pacific cod frozen. And I hope this tastes really good. Um, so I'm just going to thaw it out and cook it. And it was $10.99 for two pounds. And the fresh was $5.99 per pound. So still a good buy. I just hope it tastes good. You know. And then we got two of these. With both chips. I didn't need to get a big bag because we don't need to eat up a big bag. That's why I just got two little ones. They had them on sale. And I got I forgot to mention the peanut butter and I got some some of these mac and cheeses like when we're coming in late from a game and I just want to throw some meat with it and cook something quick yes and I can doctor up some macaroni cheese to make it taste like homemade so yes. got some um lettuce a bag of lettuce got a lemon some grapes Oranges, their oranges were hard. Oh my goodness, they were hard. So I only got two. I only could find two that were kind of soft. I got tomatoes, Roman tomatoes, honey crisp apples, two limes. Got some spinach to go with the cod. And I got three packs of these tortilla, flour tortillas, the soft taco style. Got three of those because we eat those up. Um, and I made those little pepitos that I make. It was in the last vlog, so I love to make those. And Jalen makes her tacos with the soft ones, and my husband does too. Um, got some instant rice. I microwave my rice, and We got some sharp cheddar cheese, pizza blend cheese, and eggs. So that was my haul for the day. I am recording. Okay, so can you please stop? stand up and let me see your uniform? Okay. Isaiah doesn't want to stand up and let me get him with his uniform on, but he looks so nice in his uniform. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> you would? He just, he just don't like to be on camera, honestly, y'all. I don't know why. Anyway. Hey, guys. So, it's 4-11. My husband should be home in about 15 minutes. And it's time to cook. So, I have everything just about prepped. This, these are already thawed. I just have to season them and get them into the pan. I have some carrots going. And the pan is going for the cod. And then I have some baby spinach over here ready to go. I have to make some rice for the kids. And the sweet potatoes are up here in the microwave. I don't bake mine. I probably should. But I microwave mine, y'all. But they come out really, really tasty. Really good. So these are the seasonings I'll be using for my fish. This is McCormick, the sea salt, pepper, and garlic. Have some Obey, some garlic powder. Have some paprika, blackened seasoning, some lemon, salt and pepper. I'm just gonna sprinkle it with flour just a little bit to get a crisp on it. And dinner will be served. And I am cooking for my family, so I'm not gonna be wearing gloves. I do not wear gloves, but I do wash my hands, of course. I know some people are particular about that, but y'all, this is not a restaurant. This is family cooking.
And that is butter and olive oil that is being kind of semi-fried, sauteed in. And it is ready. Uh, hubby has cranberry. And it is... And it is finished. My father has uh, cranberry juice. With pineapple. With pineapple. <laughs> sweet potato. Rice. Some codfish. And some spinach with onions in it. Me and the kids are having spinach. <laughs> uh, codfish. Rice. And carrots and I am having the cranberry juice with pineapple as well Jayla's having water the same thing as me <laughs> and Isaiah is having the same thing as well alright well thank you you're welcome now it's time to eat Colossians 3 and 23 says and whatsoever ye do do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Okay. And so the title of the devotion is your work is your signature. Uh, what does that mean? What does it mean that when you hear your work is your signature? Anybody want to share? That's very good. That's what? so appropriate. Say that again. Say it again. Is your nose running? Take that out for the nose. Take that out for now. Put it in the garbage over there. You're going to put this on the radio blog, too. If I'm trying to help myself, I'm not worried about no camera. So what did you say? Yeah, what what you done. perform and how you go about doing your work says a lot about who you are. And that's what it's talking about. And that's what it means to me. That your work is your signature, meaning you need Basically, your character shows through in how you go about accomplishing tasks, whether they are at home, at work, or in school, wherever. And so let's read. Are you frustrated at work? Do you often do just the minimum to meet your job responsibilities? When you complete tasks, are you proud of the work you performed? Whether you're in school, a volunteer on the weekends, or work a nine to five, it is imperative that we have a work ethic that God that honors God. Even when we don't feel fulfilled at work or don't necessarily get along with management, our job as believers is to work with the spirit of excellence. Before going into your job or class, ask God to give you a heart of gratitude, which will in turn allow you to complete your task in reverence of him instead of completing tasks to please man. So read that scripture one more time. Um, Colossians 3 and 23. <clears throat> and whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not unto me. So some of the takeaways, and just even from hearing that scripture again, um, if you do it as unto the Lord, you'll have a you'll have a greater purpose. You'll you should go at it in a manner that's not just trying to please your boss to get a promotion, but if you, if you please God, God will make sure you get the promotion that you deserve. So some of the takeaways. How can you prepare your heart and mind to bring honor to God with your daily responsibilities? And I'll wait to hear from one of you two. Well, I'll go first. Um, one way that I think we bring honor to God on a daily basis through our daily activities is that we, like you said, you do it with a spirit of excellence. Um, you don't complain. Uh, I have complained before, of course. I think sometimes that, that hinders uh, your promotion, basically your promotion in life, your promotion uh, whether it's on that job or whatever, uh, you are you should do things to the glory of God, meaning not that everything is just so holy that you do, but your service in doing so is a reflection of God. You do it in the spirit of excellence and in a spirit, you know, not complaining. 
and you do it as unto the Lord and not to man and that's where that's what God sees that's what God sees okay. so. so let me try this again though mm. so how do you, how can you prepare your heart and mind to bring honor to God with your daily responsibilities how can you prepare your heart and mind prayer in the morning mm -hmm. um, a devotional it doesn't have to be you know anything extensive but just to get your mind I mean you can uh, whatever God leads you to do but just to do it to put him first in the day will set the tone for the rest of the day mm -hmm. yeah. that old saying that the early bird gets the worm is so true mm -hmm. so you want to try to start your day off in preparation mm -hmm by praying uh, inviting God into your day you know and the word does tell us in all our ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path so if you're acknowledging him early in the morning he's going to direct your day mm -hmm. not to say that you you can't get up and forget to pray in the morning but it's it makes my day go a lot different yeah. so Jalen or Isaiah Anything you want to add, or y'all want to, you two want to take this next question? Let's just have this. Take the next, both of you. How might changing your perspective? Ooh, should have answered the first one. How might changing your perspective to honor God with your task improve your perception? Say it one more time. How might changing your perspective to honor God with your task improve your perception? Oh, that's an easy one. That I think is a perfect one for Isaiah, um, just because he says a lot, you know, kind of complains about how his day goes at work. So, so let me read it as it's written, then I'll listen to you too. How might changing your perspective to honor God with your task improve your perception? How might just honoring God make your task look different? It will change the way you act towards task during the day and will it change it for the better will it change it for the worse for the will it make things easier will it make it more difficult for the better mm -hmm. will it make tasks seem not as uh, daunting or not as hard yes. mm -hmm. so I looked up the definition of perspective and it says that it is a particular attitude towards or a way regarding something. And then I looked up the definition of perspective, and it's the ability to hear. So, or the ability to see, hear, or become aware of something through senses. So, I feel like if you look at it, or you have a godly perspective towards it, which is a more positive or just knowing that you can do it because you get because you have God on your side, then you'll be able to actually see it in a way that you can do it and have the uh, feeling or yeah of a conqueror, I guess. Mm -hmm. so. There you go. There you go. Anybody want to add anything else before we close out in prayer? Seriously, I think he says that on Amazon and I put on it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, giving you first thanks, giving you praise, giving you glory, because it all belongs to you. Lord, we thank you for what we have taken in today. We thank you for the devotional. We thank you, Lord, for learning about, or at least considering, how we go about the tasks for the day, how we prepare our minds toward God before we start our task in order to do our task to glory, to glorify him. Continue to remind us of how our attitude affects our work and also how it affects our promotion in life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hey guys, so I am just putting some final touches on this picture here. I couldn't find exactly what I wanted at the store. So I got something that was pretty that I love. I do love these, but it just wasn't in the color that I needed. 
So I looked around some more, couldn't find anything, and I really love these. So I said, you know what? I'll just change the color to match. So what I am doing is with my little acrylic paints, I am just going to go over this color here and the turquoise there. And I just mixed my paints up to match what I needed for the family room. And this is the color, basically <laughs> the theme in the house. I probably would be nice, I guess, to have a whole bunch of different colors. I don't know. I really want the house just kind of to flow. So this is the, the accent colors in just about all the rooms uh, or some form of this. So it's gray, silver with black in some places, brown in some places, and then this as an accent color and the silver, of course. But anyway, I am just lightly brushing over this. See how this is very light, very faint. I'm just going to mimic the same thing, but in the color that I want. So this might help you all if you are, and I have paper down, so I won't mess up my island, of course. I'm sitting at my kitchen island. And, um, that's the turquoise. I'm just going to do the lavender there. And yeah, so as you can see, these prints are very similar. Uh, they came together in a pack. I think they were like $29 from Old Time Pottery. And it has like, I don't think this shows up on cam camera, but this is glittered like rhinestones. It's very pretty, very shiny. Oh, let me see if I can. You can kind of see it in this one. But anyway, it kind of shimmers. So I am just, you know, going over this very lightly. And I'll show you when I get done. So the first one is done. And now on to the second one. Came out pretty good. Also, you guys, this was downstairs. And this is not the color. This is just too much color. It used to match the old decor. But it's too much color for now. So... I don't know if you can see that's kind of like an olive green there and I am paint and that was olive green too I'm painting it this color and then I'm going to paint these little um, raspberry color uh, rectangles in her dress I'm gonna paint them that color too so I'm just mixing my paint and also probably this green I'm gonna do a few things up here but yeah I gotta make it coordinate Okay, now this was it was too much to do all of this Maybe at some later date. I'm not sure but It was just too much for tonight anyway, so I'm gonna put it down there see what it looks like But I got the baskets painted. I painted this um, her little sash I painted the little decor in her necklace and right here. I painted her earrings her bracelets and I gotta get that a little better. So I'm gonna finish that. But yeah, so I got that lavender in there. I gotta get up under here and everywhere. But yeah, so that will coordinate much better with downstairs. Mm -hmm. 